desire is irrelevant. I am a machine. Directed by Caradog Jones, The Machine is like a simpler, more sugary, though still very good, cousin to Alex Garland's Ex Machina. In the unspecified near future, artificial intelligence is becoming exponentially more advanced amid a new Cold War with China. Vincent, Toby Stevens, a brooding specialist in the field, creates a sentient android modeled after his dead assistant Ava, Katie Lotz, but Vincent's shifty superiors have ulterior motives for her. The machine has vibrant, macabre aesthetics, eerie atmosphere, and strong performances, but its ideas are not given enough time or depth to grow. Lutz is impressive as the machine. She plays the machine as a sweet-natured, naive child, which leads to some disarming scenes of existential shock as she realizes what she is and what she's capable of. The scene of Thompson, Vincent's sociopathic boss, manipulating the machine into killing a Chinese spy is very uncomfortable to watch, with Thompson playing with her nascent feelings and the machine desperately trying to please both authority figures, by not hurting anyone, as per Vincent's orders, and by fulfilling her purpose as a military droid. I also love this scene of the machine dancing. The scene is tastefully shot, with shadows, soft background lighting, and some beautiful CGI illuminating her synthetic nervous system, and her graceful movements and tactile inquisitiveness speak of such joy and wonder, which leaves you in no doubt of her sentience. I still much prefer Alicia Vikander's performance in Ex Machina, as her development is far richer, and she subverts the old fembot trope by being breathtakingly alluring, yet strikingly non-human. But Lotz is still intriguing in the machine, conveying a sympathetic yet mildly disturbing presence. I'm curious to check out more films starring Toby Stevens, as he is a collected yet softly intense demeanor reminiscent of Guy Pearce. A depressing subplot in the machine involves Vincent's gravely ill daughter Mary. It's a sad, respectfully restrained subplot that factors into the main plot through sacrifice, deceit, and blackmail. The machine's pacing is a little bottom-heavy, as establishing Ava as a gifted AI researcher before killing her off feels fairly incidental to the eponymous machine's existence, except to frame the machine's activation as a sort of resurrection. Still, the film maintains your interest with an unsettling air of secrecy throughout the lab and many ominous plot threads, including penned combat veterans being experimented on, Thompson's unscrupulous motives, and the lab's augmented guards scheming in secret. The film's intro is brilliant. A brain-damaged veteran has his mind restored by one of Vincent's implants, and his emotional fragility at suddenly regaining his conscious thought yet bereft of memory is palpable. The machine's biggest weakness is in its ideas, as I just wish they were more fleshed out. The film flirts with concepts of simulated consciousness versus actual consciousness, a commonly addressed issue of the Turing test, and the technological singularity, a term not even used in the film, of robots making robots, but does very little with these ideas. Compare, again, to Ex Machina, which is exceedingly intelligent and constantly compels us to question the nature of Ava's artificial mind. The next Blade Runner, as proclaimed by Sound and Sight, this isn't, but the machine is still an engrossing, complex, and dazzlingly shot Android character study, and earns three and a half stars out of five. Thanks for watching. Cheers.